Last year, 16 of WWE's best cruiserweights clashed in an eight-week tournament to decide who stood above the rest at 205 pounds and under. This year, we do it all over again. Sunday afternoons at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, kicking off on September the 29th, 16 men representing SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling will participate in the 2024 edition of the Cruiserweight Classic. With the field more wide open than ever before, who will scratch and claw their way to greatness and be crowned the winner of the historic Cruiserweight Classic? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. We are live here in the Moda Center, Portland, Oregon for SmackDown New Year's Revolution, the first SmackDown of 2024 and the final on the road to this Sunday's Royal Rumble. And we kick things off tonight with a highly anticipated Cruiserweight Championship matchup. The Irish Ace the number one contender, J.D. McDonough, just a few weeks ago targeting the Cruiserweight Champion himself, Ilya Dragunov. As you can see, this ambush from behind as Dragunov was set for action against Axiom. To the credit of the Mad Dragon himself, he got up and continued to fight after this brawl, but obviously intensifying the issues between McDonough and Dragunov. After Dragunov was victorious against Axiom moments later, J.D. McDonough made his presence felt again. The brawl ensued once more. And of course, the issue between these two men is simple as J.D. McDonough trying to make his way to the front of the line to earn an opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship. What better way to catch the attention of the champion than an ambush, a brawl at the top of the stage? And of course, J.D. McDonough picking up a victory over Chad Gable a few weeks ago. Also successful against Axiom last week on SmackDown. Whether you like the attitude of the Irish Ace, J.D. McDonough has played his cards right, and he has got himself in the driver's seat. An opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship awaits him in mere moments. But it is not going to be an easy task to try to obtain the gold here in Portland, because on the opposite side of the ring is the invincible Mad Dragon himself. As voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Breakout Superstar of the Year, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Ilya Dragunov. 2023 was a huge year for Dragunov. When he was a part of the Raw brand, he was the Intercontinental Champion. Moved to Friday Night SmackDown after winning the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament and then of course propelled himself on to win the Cruiserweight Championship. A hell of a year for Dragunov, a banner year for the Mad Dragon so far in his WWE career. As he kicks off 2024 tonight at New Year's Revolution, I expect Dragunov is looking to kick it off with some fireworks. Whether it's Dragunov leaving with the Cruiserweight Gold or his challenger tonight, J.D. McDonough, the fireworks surely going to be going off tonight as we get a stacked night of action ahead of us live from the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon. There's a special episode of SmackDown New Year's Revolution as we kick off 2024, our final pit stop on the road to this Sunday's Royal Rumble. A lot of action this week here in the WWE, and we ain't slowing down just yet. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line, the first of two championships to be defended here tonight in Portland, Oregon. J.D. McDonough, has he played his cards right, or has he only fired up Ilya Dragunov? This is going to be an interesting battle over that prestigious gold. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya. Dragunov! 
Well, Dragunov winning the gold, as we mentioned, back at Survivor Series in November by defeating Santos Escobar. And Escobar has elevated himself up the ladder here on SmackDown. He will challenge for the United States title in your main event against AJ Styles. But since Survivor Series, Dragunov has turned away the challenges of Axiom, retained his gold over Nathan Fraser last month at Armageddon. But can he get through JD McDonough, who has tried to be a thorn in the side of the Mad Dragon for weeks? Bell has sounded, we are underway here in Portland, Oregon. Smackdown New Year's Revolution, and the stakes couldn't be any higher. McDonough wanted an opportunity at the Cruiserweight goal. He was tired of waiting in line. Ambush dragging off from behind, and now he gets his wish to kick off 2024. But who will start the new year on the right foot? Obviously, dragging off as expected, coming out of House of Fire. Looking to let up some pent up aggression against the Irish Ace here tonight. Dragunov, all kinds of fired up as he now comes off the apron. Nobody home, McDonough had it scouted. And the Cruiserweight Champion has got to be wary here. He cannot let his aggression and his anger towards the Irish Ace blind him because if an opportunity presents itself, J.D. McDonough will take advantage and possibly leave Portland as the Cruiserweight Champion. McDonough knew what he was doing a few weeks ago when he ambushed Dragunov from behind. It, he knew it would lit a fire under the Cruiserweight Champion, but confident enough in his abilities that he could finagle his way into a championship opportunity and hopefully for McDonough, capitalize on the gold. Remains to be seen what will happen tonight as we are 48 hours before our first live premiere event of 2024. We are heading to the T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, this Sunday, as we kick off the road to WrestleMania at the Royal Rumble. Six championships will be defended. The return of CM Punk taking on The Miz from Monday Night Raw. And of course, the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown, one championship opportunity at WrestleMania hanging in the balance. All remains to be seen what will happen Sunday in Sin City, but tonight in Portland, Dragunov looking to exact some revenge on the man who ambushed him in the aisle way several weeks ago. Ilya Dragunov, ever since winning the Cruiserweight Classic and making his way to the blue brand, has really burst on the scene and been successful from pillar to post. But will JD McDonough spoil Dragunov's reign at the top of the Cruiserweight division tonight? The Irish Ace played his cards right to get a championship matchup. Well, will he be able to seize the opportunity? McDonough, former Cruiserweight champion in his own right, several years ago in NXT, but a different landscape in the Cruiserweight division as we enter 2024 here on SmackDown. McDonough trying to make his way back to the top all over again. And it could be tonight if he's got the tool set to keep down the Mad Dragon. Dragunov still into this, and if there's one thing we know about the Invincible One, is that he thrives off the pain inside the ring. Ilya Dragunov, a tough superstar to keep down in between those ropes. Not impossible fleet, but certainly not an easy one. Both these men were a part of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament back in the summer and into the fall. McDonough made it to the quarterfinals. Dragunov made it all the way to the finals, defeated Johnny Gargano, and won the whole damn tournament. Look at McDonough, slowing down the pace of this matchup. Dragunov was a house of fire. McDonough not trying to allow that momentum to continue, but the Invincible One has got other plans. Nice reversal by the Cruiserweight Champion. The big time Yurinagi right on the canvas. McDonough cannot allow Dragunov to get going here. The fury in the eyes of the Mad Dragon tonight. But this is the bed that JD McDonough has made and he may have to pay the consequences of his actions as he enters 2024. A fight getting taken to the outside, and I don't know who this benefits. J.D. McDonough, who could be very cold and calculated, or the Mad Dragon himself, Ilya Dragunov, who is coming into Portland, fired up as all hell. Into the steel steps, into the barricade, and Dragunov continuing the onslaught. Again, this is your first of two championships to be defended here tonight, still to come in your main event from the Moda Center. AJ Styles puts the red, white, blue, and gold. The United States Championship on the line against the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. 
Right now, dragging off, bringing McDonough back inside the confines of the squared circle. JD McDonough better think on his feet right here, trying to get back into this matchup. Dragging off may have been closing in on the kill, but here's the Irish Ace trying to pull a different card out of the deck. Up he goes, and there's an elbow taking down the cruiserweight champion. Simple yet effective offense, and now hangs him up with the neck breaker. And JD McDonough looking to turn this match on its head. And once again, going to the stretch, trying to slow down the momentum of the Cruiserweight Champion. Dragging off has been a house of fire. McDonough trying to counteract that offense. So much action to come here on SmackDown New Year's Revolution, including Drew McIntyre's second return bout since Survivor Series in November, as he takes on one half of the Viking Raiders in the big man Ivar later tonight here in Portland. Oh, wait a minute, hold that thought. McDonough, combination offense. Headbutt, Saito, dragging off down. But McDonough not done, realizing who he is in the ring with. An unintentional nod of respect to the Mad Dragon who is known to thrive off the pain and pressure. And look at that hip toss. It is so hard to keep down Ilya Dragunov in between those ropes. One of the reasons why he was so successful in 2023, the breakout star of the year. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings here in Portland. There's another counter by McDonough, who's throwing left hooks, along with some rights and a spinning back elbow that may have just won him the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Not just yet, Dragunov still into it. We have got a barn burner on our hands to kick things off tonight at New Year's Revolution. Stakes couldn't be higher than ever. The top spot at the Cruiserweight division hangs in the balance. Back inside the confines of the ring we go. McDonough knows he can only win the championship in between those ropes, and he's looking to keep dragging off there. Nice springboard moments to go. The champion down, starting to feel the pain. Look at McDonough keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Knee right to the chest that time. McDonough better keep his eye on the ball. Now what has he got in mind? Drag it off up, going for that Alabama slammer. And drag it off down. Is the champion out? McDonough continuing not to go for the three count just yet. Realizes that drag it off, known to come back when his back is up against the wall. And wait a minute here. McDonough could be looking for drag it off's torpedo Moscow. Drag it off says otherwise. I don't know if that was smart for JD McDonough. He might have tried to go for the kill, but he might have bit off more than he could chew. I don't think Dragunov taken too kindly to the disrespect of McDonough trying to hit him with his own headbutt finishing maneuver. That may have been the icing on the cake to the ambush a few weeks ago. The cruiserweight champion is fired up and he is on his challenger's tail. To the outside we go. McDonough wanting no part of the fury out of the invincible one. I don't know why J.D. McDonough was going for a Torpedo Moscow on the man who delivers it best. Trying to throw Ilya Dragunov off his game, trying to get into the head of the champion. All possible answers, but it is not coming back in the favor of McDonough so far. And Dragunov is just fired up. Sending McDonough right over the barricade into the concrete. Cruiserweight champion is seeing red at ringside as he knocks McDonough down once more. Referee's at a count of five. Dragunov breaking the count and keeping the fight on the outside of the squared circle. I don't know what the Mad Dragon's got in mind, but it is not going well for the Irish Ace at the moment. May have made the biggest mistake of this matchup, trying to add insult to injury on the champion. And drag it off with another lariat. Offense beginning to stack. McDonough may be in trouble. Drag it off. Right through the barricade sends JD McDonough. The cruiserweight champion does not take kindly to disrespect from his challengers. Torpedo Moscow attempt. The ambush three weeks ago. Ilya Dragunov hell-bent on retaining his championship and also exacting some retribution tonight. 
JD McDonough sent right through the barricade here in the Monda Center moments ago. And trying to create some distance between himself and the Cruiserweight Champion. I don't know if that's going to work out too kindly. Ilya Dragunov's been seeing red ever since McDonough's poor attempt at what Dragunov is looking to deliver what he does best. Torpedo Moscow! And into the cover! And the Cruiserweight Championship of the World remains with the man Dragon himself. The breakout superstar of 2023 for a reason. And Ilya Dragunov enters the new year with a successful championship defense. Here's your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. JD McDonough may have bit off more than he can chew with this fired up Mad Dragon. The Cruiserweight Championship remains in the grasp of Ilya Dragunov. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Nomination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. We welcome you to the Elimination Chamber, an epic live premiere event in front of a capacity crowd in Lone Depot Park. And what bigger way to kick things off than with a rivalry that has been brewing for the last several months on SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World is at stake. And I'll tell you what, this devilish SOB, the Irish ace, JD McDonough, may have played his cards right over the last several weeks on SmackDown, earning himself a second opportunity to win the Cruiserweight Gold. JD McDonough unleashed the fury on Ilya Dragunov weeks ago on the blue brand, setting his sights for the title. The two men met on the New Year's Revolution edition, the first SmackDown of 2024. And unfortunately for JD McDonough, he came up short in his pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship. But that was not the last tale that was written between these two stars. You remember in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup, cameras rapidly cutting into the backstage area where JD McDonough ambushed the Cruiserweight Champion. Dragging off would retaliate the SmackDown later, laying out McDonough face to face in the middle of the squared circle, but that was just a message sent. Tonight is the war between these two men with the championship at stake. And I'll tell you what, J.D. McDonough, we said he might have played his cards right. Has he gotten into the mind of the Mad Dragon himself, Ilya Dragunov? Dragunov is going to be coming into this fight, hell-bent on retribution for that assault back at the Royal Rumble. And of course, the previous assaults that kicked off this whole issue back on SmackDown. Ilya Dragunov needs to remain focused on the end goal, and that is retaining his Cruiserweight Championship. And there's one thing that has been well documented about that mad dragon who is walking down the aisle, and that is, that is that he thrives on punishment inside the squared circle. Such a tough man to beat. Dragunov has found numerous success since joining the main roster back in 2022. Last year at this time, Dragunov was on his way to WrestleMania to win the Intercontinental Championship. In 2023, we saw him win the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament and of course kick off his reign as Cruiserweight Champion back in November at Survivor Series. Dragunov looking to continue that success in 2024. But JD McDonough 
is the roadblock for Dragunov here to kick things off tonight at the Elimination Chamber. And you gotta wonder, has the Irish Ace gotten into the mind, poisoned the mind, and the strategy of Ilya Dragunov? And is Dragunov gonna be thrown off his game once and for all here tonight in Miami, Florida? We wanna thank you for joining us tonight. This is the Elimination Chamber event. We are on the road to WrestleMania. And tonight is gonna answer a lot of questions about the show of shows, but first things first, the Cruiserweight Championship of the world is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Bray, Kelly Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. He is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. I'll tell you what, there's going to be multiple big fight fields here tonight in South Beach. But the Cruiserweight Championship, the first of its kind here at the Elimination Chamber. J.D. McDonough taking one more look at the prize that he has been in pursuit of for the last quite some time on Friday Night SmackDown. New Year's Revolution did not go the way of the Irish Ace, but will tonight tell a different story. The bell has sounded and we are underway and Ilya Dragunov exploding high out of the gate. You gotta expect nothing less from the Mad Dragon. The Invincible One himself. Remember what happened back in New Year's Revolution, Dragunov, when we talked about it, same story, if you will. Dragunov was looking for retribution on that night for the ambush that J.D. McDonough issued that really kicked off this whole situation between these two gentlemen. Remember back at New Year's Revolution, J.D. McDonough tried to throw Dragunov off his game and deliver Ilya Dragunov with his own maneuver that torpedo Moscow out of the corner. And not only did it not go the way of McDonough, but it only fired up the Mad Dragon. Dragunov put J.D. McDonough through the barricade, issued a torpedo Moscow himself, and retained the Cruiserweight Championship. And that was, of course, just 48 hours before the Royal Rumble, where J.D. McDonough only upped the ante of the whole situation. Both these men have found success in recent weeks on SmackDown, but tonight is for all the marbles, and so far, J.D. McDonough has turned the Mad Dragon on its head. Imagine if Ilya Dragunov's road to WrestleMania gets spoiled here tonight in South Beach by the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. McDonough looking to walk into the grandest stage of them all. AT&T Stadium, Dallas, Texas. J.D. McDonough could very well be on the marquee as the Cruiserweight Champion. That is what these two men are duking it out for tonight. What a stiff shot by McDonough. Nothing pretty about that, and you expect nothing less between these two bruisers inside of the ring. Look at McDonough, double underhook powerbomb, beautifully executed by the challenger. Into the cover here, and Dragunov getting the shoulder up. We talked about it as the champion was making his way down the aisle tonight. Dragunov, a six son of a gun inside of that ring. He thrives off the punishment, but how will that fare in this emotional battle versus McDonough tonight? Dragunov has found lots of success over the last 12 months in the WWE. Looking to go into his second WrestleMania, holding championship gold. McDonough looking to play spoiler. JD McDonough is delivering a couple of stiff shots to Dragunov, and that is what he has got to do to wear down the champion. He's trying to throw anything he can. This absolute psychopath at times. The cruiserweight champion, and McDonough, discord elbow. And not enough. Ripcord elbow. Ilya Dragunov surviving, but certainly not thriving at the current moment. J.D. McDonough may have played his cards right as he enters Lone Depot Park as the challenger. He could be leaving as the champion. Counter by Dragunov, and look at that very creative reversal that time. Nice takedown. No way to counter that one. Dragunov climbing up McDonough. 
Oh, now going for that lariat. In the corner, J.D. McDonough did his homework. Not the first rodeo between these two men. McDonough came with a game plan and Red Dragunov's book front to back. Dragunov likes to implore those double lariats in the corner. McDonough saw it coming from a mile away. And now it's the Irish ace in control in the opposite corner. J.D. McDonough has been the aggressor in this cruiserweight title matchup. Oh, wait a minute. Can't tell from our vantage point, but I believe Dragunov may have been busted wide open off that boot. And if so, that is... Oh, wait a minute. Dragunov off the reversal. Dragunov indeed has been busted wide open in your opening matchup here at the Elimination Chamber. And that's going to go one of two ways. It's either going to fire up the champion as he throws off punishment from bell to bell, or it's going to be a target for J.D. McDonough. Oh, look at McDonough on the receiving end of a couple of chops. Dragunov busted wide open and has seemingly flipped the switch. There is something not right about the Mad Dragon. There are some screws loose in the Cruiserweight Champion, but that is what has brought him so much success. And look how he thrives off the punishment and gets fired up in the middle of Miami, Florida. Back into the corner. There's the Lariat. Could be going for the dose. That time he delivers it. Nothing McDonough can do. No answer. Into the cover. Not enough to keep the challenger down, but Ilya Dragunov has come alive here at Elimination Chamber. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line in the most personal battle fought over this championship in quite some time. 2023, one of the best feuds of the year is between the newly tag team members of Latino World Order, Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio. They had some wars in 2023, the first half of the year for the Cruiserweight title. This tonight feels like the most important Cruiserweight Championship match since that feud last year. Dragunov on the outside and again has just completely turned this match on its head. It was all JD McDonough from the opening bell until Dragunov was busted wide open. And Ilya Dragunov coming alive. Look at this. Breaks the count. What has he got in mind for McDonough? Remember what happened at New Year's Revolution? Same fight brought to the outside, and Dragunov put J.D. McDonough right through the barricade. Followed it up with a torpedo Moscow, and that was all she wrote that night. But this is a different chapter being written here in Miami, Florida. Will it be the same result? Ilya Dragunov with another stiff shot. J.D. McDonough is just feeling the brunt of the Cruiserweight Champion. There's a reversal that time. Wait a minute, don't take your eyes. Oh, this fire-breathing Dragon who explodes off the ropes with another lariat to McDonough. Into the cover, not just yet. McDonough may be surviving, but Ilya Dragunov is beginning to stack the offense, but don't speak too soon. McDonough pulling the rug out from underneath the Cruiserweight Champion. Now it's the champion on the chase as McDonough drops him with the snap German. Springboard, Tornado DDT on the open wound. The Irish ace may be closing in on gold. And Dragunov still in it. We have got a born burner on our hands for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Oh, McDonough headbutt. This could be it, Saito. That could be all she wrote. J.D. McDonough laying out the Cruiserweight Champion, but is not elect for the pinfall as Dragunov way too close for comfort by those ropes. Oh, McDonough, I think he realizes who he's in the ring with. Looking to put the final nail in the coffin of this match, but Dragunov says otherwise. A misstep by the Irish ace. And the body of J.D. McDonough sent flying over the top rope. That was a huge miss opportunity for McDonough. The head butt to the open wound, followed by the Saido. McDonough's found so much success with that combination, but now it's Ilya Dragunov with a running head start, taking McDonough off his feet. Gotta wonder if that was J.D. McDonough's best shot or if Ilya Dragunov is gonna leave him another window of opportunity to climb through. Back inside the squared circle this time, the Cruiserweight Champion 
with a target on his skull at all, continues to fight. Oh my goodness, Dragunov unloading on McDonough. That is the aggression, that is the retribution coming out of the Mad Dragon tonight. McDonough paying for his sins in the Cruiserweight Championship match. Both men with stiff shots just trying to get their wits about him that time, and it's Dragunov delivering another one. Into the corner he goes. These guys entering championship rounds. You see the fatigue starting to set in, especially with the cruiserweight champion who somehow is scaling the ropes after the war these two men have put each other through. Thus far, going for the shoulder block. No, buddy, home. McDonough, su simple yet effective suplex that time. It goes for the cover. Oh, and a close call, got the two. Not the three, another counter by Dragunov, overhead shot, and a German by the champion. Ilya Dragunov is not human. Into the ropes, not just yet, Dragunov pulls him back in for another stiff shot to the chest. Oh, wait a minute, what has the champion got in mind? Sent on off the apron, crushing the rib cage of the challenger at ringside. JD McDonough may rue the day. He ambushed Ilya Dragunov from behind because Dragunov's going for the kill. One of the baddest, most badass lariats in the industry today. Not just yet, McDonough's still into this, and you gotta wonder what it's gonna take to keep one of these two superstars down. J.D. McDonough's hanging in there by hook or by crook. And a reversal near the open wound. And J.D. trying to capitalize on a weakened dragon. Oh, look at this. Spanish fly. Dead center of the ring. And this late into the matchup could be a difference maker. And McDonough going to follow it up with a tope suicida. This is what the Cruiserweight Championship is all about. What a way to kick things off here at the Elimination Chamber tonight. So much action on hand here in Miami, Florida. But the Cruiserweight Championship is what hangs in the balance in your opening moments as McDonough and Dragunov continue to wage war on this oh-so-important battlefield. McDonough on top, going for the elbow to no avail. Dragunov saw it coming from a mile away. Wait, wait a minute. Reversal. McDonough. McDonough's going to steal the title. No. Dragunov counters. Dragunov stacking up McDonough. Is he going to do it? Not just yet. Oh, my goodness. McDonough to the ropes. Another reversal that time. These guys throwing live rounds. This may come down to who gets that one final blow. And it could very well be, may be the champion. The aggressor at the current moment. J.D. McDonough trying to get his wits about him, but Ilya Dragunov is not giving him a centimeter to breathe. J.D. McDonough down and out, the cruiserweight champion. Although he is the one with the open wound. Looks, at, looks like the proverbial shark that smells blood in the water. And Ilya Dragunov, look at the man dragon. Torpedo Moscow. And the cruiserweight championship of the world remains with the invincible one. Ilya Dragunov comes out on the other side of one hard fought war. I'll tell you what, these two men have been at each other's throats for weeks on SmackDown, but I think Dragunov put it to rest here tonight in South Beach. Here's your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov continues to get better and each and every performance inside of the ring. The success continues into 2024 as the Cruiserweight Championship of the World remains in the grasp of the Mad Dragon. 
after no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and Noah Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood. You know, we've seen a little chaos surrounding the cruiserweight division as of late, and a lot of that can be thanked to this man, the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough has been targeting Ilya Dragunov for months on SmackDown, and even had not one, but two singles opportunities to take down the Mad Dragon. J.D. McDonough just not good enough on those nights to walk away with the gold. But maybe, and I'll bite, a matchup where Ilya Dragunov doesn't have to be pinned to lose the championship? It might be the Irish ace. Best opportunity at possibly winning the championship he's been seeking for months on Friday Night SmackDown. Nonetheless, this is a loaded field of talent to say the least. And it's any man's ball game, especially in such an unpredictable and dangerous environment like a ladder matchup. Three challengers already entered. Two more and a champion to come. The stakes higher than ever. <laughs> well, it looks like the champion doesn't want to wait his turn in the locker room anymore. Eager to walk down the aisle at the show of shows. And from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Well, there has always been something a little bit unhinged about the Tsar, about the Invincible, about the Mad Dragon, and most importantly, let us not forget the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov, one year ago, made his WrestleMania debut, winning the Intercontinental Championship when he was a part of Monday Night Raw. Dragunov last fall, won the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, propelled him to a Friday Night SmackDown contract, where he took the best advantage, winning the Cruiserweight Championship, and has defended the gold successfully ever since. And of course, Dragunov not walking down the aisle with his gold around his waist tonight, as the championship, as you can already see, suspended in the sky here in Dallas, Texas. Ilya Dragunov, somebody who thrives off pain and punishment. Clearly a couple of screws loose in the mind of the Tsar. And although the odds are stacked against the champion tonight, an unpredictable, dangerous environment like a ladder matchup might just favor somebody as unhinged as Ilya Dragunov. Certainly all remains to be seen. Still two more challengers to come, and as we already mentioned, it's anybody's ball game here at AT&T Stadium. And from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee. Wes Lee's recently took on Ilya Dragunov. He knows firsthand how tough the champion is. Take nothing away from this young man. Former NXT Tag Team Champion has been a part of Friday Night SmackDown for quite some time and has even challenged for the Cruiserweight Championship on many of occasions over the last year and change. Wesley looking for his breakout moment, a part of the blue brand as we enter a new season in just a couple of weeks. Not just Wesley, but any of these challengers could be looking to take the spotlight away from Ilya Dragunov, put it on themselves. And if there's any night to do it, the showcase of the Immortals, certainly a night to make yourself famous. Five have entered, one to come. And it's certainly a man who's very familiar with championship gold. And from Cleveland, Ohio, 
Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. The whole shebang, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, back here at WrestleMania. You know, one year ago, Gargano walked into this very event as one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Just a few weeks later, Gargano was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, and he'll be the first to tell you the last 12 months, not the way Gargano would have hoped. But tonight, a chance to end the year on a high note, a chance to end the season the best it possibly could. WrestleMania, with the Cruiserweight Championship on the line, Johnny Gargano can make the last 12 months of ups and downs all worth it if he can take down the goal. It is anybody's ball game. It is a six-man ladder matchup. The bell has sounded and we are underway here at WrestleMania. A lot of action to keep up with, as you can already see. In the opening moments of this matchup, you see one-on-one -on -one matches start to split off. Ladders at ringside. And certainly chaos to be expected. Two men to keep your eye on are the two men that are in the squared circle right about now. Well, at least momentarily they were. Ilya Dragunov and Johnny Gargano, who's two pace suicide to the outside, not only takes out Dragunov, takes out the ladder as well. As we we're about to mention, those two superstars in action just 24 hours ago in Austin, Texas, on Friday Night SmackDown. Cruiserweight Classic Finals rematch. Ilya Dragunov was the victor. A win, lose, or draw, you gotta believe both of those men not coming into tonight at 100%. And refocus your eyeballs inside the squared circle. Well, you know what? Take that phone away. Nathan Fraser climbing the ladder. Unfortunately, too much chaos surrounding him to make the most of it. Good Wesley looking for his coming out party. Well, Nathan Fraser on the outside. This is this is anarchy already. What did the bell sound a minute and a half ago? Nathan Fraser making the bridge with the ladder between the ring and the announce table, just what this matchup needs. Chaos to be expected in the Cruiserweight division here at WrestleMania. And a very interesting thing here is Ilya Dragunov has met every single one of these superstars in one-on-one -on -one action over the last few months, whether the championship was on the line or not. And the Mad Dragon successful each and every bout. You gotta believe Ilya Dragunov, even with the odds stacked against him tonight, may be the favorite coming into this Cruiserweight Championship match. Well, Nathan Frazier on the outside, and speaking of the czar, he is inside the squared circle, and he is all alone. Easier said than done trying to keep your balance in there and trying to take down his Cruiserweight Championship. But the man all the way from Spain, that being Axiom, Stopping Ilya Dragunov in his tracks and a power bomb off the rungs. And Frazier back on the ladder. My goodness. That is no give on those steel ladders. Goes without saying as now Axiom and Ilya Dragunov meet at the top of the mountain. And once again Dragunov with gold in his hands. Oh, now it's Wesley with his eyes set. On the Mad Dragon, and look at us slay that beast here tonight. Ilya Dragunov trying to get his championship and get the hell out of Dodge, and you can't blame him. Five challengers, a chance to lose this title without even being pinned. Oh, look at J.D. McDonough. With Dragunov on his shoulders, devil inside in the middle of AT&T Stadium. McDonough and Dragunov, no strangers to each other. They have gone to war back at SmackDown's New Year's Revolution in January and the Elimination Chamber just a number of weeks ago as well. Wesley with the reverse Rana. Ilya Dragunov getting the hell beat out of him here tonight at WrestleMania. And I know he thrives off punishment, but this is a different kind of story here tonight with all these challengers and weapons in play. I don't know if Ilya Dragunov is gonna be so willing to take the pain and the punishment that's at hand. Look at all these other challengers going at each other. Johnny Gargano, Nathan Frazier, Axiom with a ladder in hand. Dragunov's on the outside, and it's all the challengers inside the ring with his championship. 
believe Gargano's got the Gargano escaping on Nathan Frazier. A tap out ain't gonna do him any good, but this is certainly a way to wear down the young Nathan Frazier all the way from Wales. Big time drop kick that time by Frazier. And again, dragging off as he eats the ladder. Alongside Johnny Gargano cannot be coming to this matchup anywhere near 100% tonight. They fought tooth and nail just 24 hours ago on Friday Night SmackDown. Nathan Fraser eats the ladder. And there is Steele surrounding all sides of the squared circle. Nobody. Look at the Wild Coyote camp going right now. We're getting a hell of a shot of AT&T Stadium. Trying to bring this back down to focus as three challengers are back inside the square circle and Wesley with another Tiger Bomb, this time to Gargano. And look out for Wesley in 2024. Tonight may be a coming out party for that young man, but just as we say those words, J.D. McDonough letting the devil inside out once more. Gargano with the spin kick. Four challengers inside of the ring, and Gargano just scaling away from that ladder. It's still bridged between the ring and the apron. Excuse me, the ring and the announce table. It's just a precarious situation that a couple of men have met the landing so far, but nobody, unfortunately, getting the worst of it. I think that goes without saying. We will drag it off of the ladder. Inside of the ring, Wesley getting knocked down momentarily, but now being brought back to the soles of his boots. The Mad Dragon's got something in mind. Oh man, sending Wesley right back onto the bridge. I don't know what Ilya Dragunov's got in mind. Meanwhile, Fraser McDonough inside of the ring, but the Cruiserweight Champion moves so through the ladder. Nathan Fraser with the neck breaker to JD McDonough. Dallas, Texas coming unglued as these six cruiserweights throw caution in the wind, all in the means of leaving WrestleMania with the gold. And it's Frazier and Dragunov on the ladder, at least momentarily, as somehow all six superstars are back inside the middle of the ropes. Oh my goodness, the action to keep up with. Spanish fly by Axiom the Frazier moments ago. Dragon off going after Johnny Gargano. Man, I can't believe what we just saw moments ago. Dragon off with a moonsault, crashing Wesley through the bridge. And then Nathan Frazier with the fallaway neckbreaker to JD McDonough. And still, bodies are moving inside of the ring. These guys letting adrenaline fuel them th fuel them through, excuse me. The battle here tonight. Worry about the pain on Sunday morning. The ring clearing out momentarily. Wesley dazed and wait a minute here. Ilya Dragunov, the only man with his wits about him. Hands on his gold. Wesley scale on the other side. Ilya Dragunov has captured his cruiserweight championship. The chaos comes to a screeching halt as the mad dragon pushes through the pain, pushes through the punishment. And with the will to succeed, flies his way to another successful championship defense. The reign of the Tsar lives on. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. There is something to be said about that young man right there. The 2023 Breakout Superstar of the Year continues to show why. We are living in the era of the Invincible One as Ilya Dragunov walks into WrestleMania and reclaims his Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high. 
that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Well, coming up next here in Sacramento, California, it is the highly anticipated last man standing matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World as the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Czar, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov had a successful 2023, winning the Intercontinental Championship, the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, the Breakout Superstar of the Year, all the while winning the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. JD McDonough has taken issue with the Czar ever since the month of December and has been in hot pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship of the World and everything that Dragunov has to offer. This is not the first time that these two men will go to war. They fought back in the early part of January at SmackDown New Year's Revolution. Dragunov retained the title, but JD McDonough was not satisfied in that defeat. McDonough continued to attack Dragunov week in and week out until he got another battle, which took place at the Elimination Chamber event. And in another war between these two men that left Dragunov damn near broken and especially bloody, the Tsar found a way to retain the title. Of course, cross paths again at the grandest stage of them all in the middle of a six-man ladder matchup where the Mad Dragon continued to spew his fire on the Cruiserweight division. But J.D. McDonough just keeps coming back for more. And over the last few months on SmackDown, Ilya Dragunov has found himself staring up at the lights time and time again thanks to sneak attacks from the Irish Ace. Something's got to give. McDonough's got one more opportunity, and he's got to make the most of it. Will Dragunov continue to spew his fire, or will J.D. McDonough be the last man standing? The Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, has played his cards right. But will he make the most of what has got to be his final opportunity for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World? And the stakes couldn't be any higher. The environment couldn't be any more dangerous. No countouts, no disqualification. This match ends when one superstar is counted down for 10. Who will be the last man standing, leaving with the prestigious Cruiserweight gold? And as you saw, J.D. McDonough has certainly had the blood on his hands. He has left Dragunov laying time and time again, not just over the last few weeks, but over the last few months on Friday Night SmackDown. But one thing you can't say about J.D. McDonough is that he hasn't earned another match for the Cruiserweight title. Victories over Wesley, Johnny Gargano, and most recently on Velocity this past Wednesday, a victory over the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. McDonough, as we mentioned, has played his cards right. He has gone all in, focusing on Ilya Dragunov and his determination and his damn near obsession with becoming the Cruiserweight Championship has brung him to this event tonight. But will he be able to survive the onslaught, survive the fury and the fire of the Mad Dragon? We read down Ilya Dragunov's accolades over the last year and change here in the WWE. And he damn well may be better than ever. The Tsar, the invincible cruiserweight champion of the world, Ilya Dragunov. Every man who has stepped up, has been stepped on. Ilya Dragunov has continued to carve his legacy month after month. Whether it was over on Monday Night Raw or when he begun his SmackDown career, Ilya Dragunov has made a dent everywhere he has arrived. He was the Intercontinental Champion for several months in 2023. Participated in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament last fall and won it all, which propelled him 
to challenging Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight title on November the 19th of last year and has held that championship for 167 days ever since. J.D. McDonough may only be a footnote in the legacy of the Mad Dragon. The third time these men will go one-on-one -on -one for that prestigious gold that is around the waist of the Invincible One. Will J.D. McDonough be the last man standing? Or will he fall to the Invincible Mad Dragon that I am sure is not only coming in with the intent of retaining his Cruiserweight Championship, but has got to be hell-bent on finally putting J.D. McDonough behind him here tonight. The stage is set for this Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov has been left laying time and time again by the cold-hearted hands of the Irish Devil himself. Will Dragunov get his retribution in the midst of battle tonight? Or will J.D. McDonough finally claim the gold that has been hoarded by the Mad Dragon himself? No disqualifications, no countouts. Last man standing will be your victor. Bell has sounded, we are underway, and J.D. McDonough hot out of the gate. Ilya Dragunov, many a times when he has fought J.D. McDonough has been the aggressor, and a lot of that has to do with the ambushes, with the attacks that McDonough has spewed upon Dragunov. J.D. McDonough trying to beat Dragunov to the punch tonight, but he may just come back to haunt him. The Mad Dragon, somebody who thrives off pain inside of that ring. A last man standing matchup may just favor the champion. They don't call this man invincible for nothing. Ilya Dragunov is just a different breed inside of that ring. JD McDonough knows what he's in for tonight. Will he be able to survive? Being brought to the outside. The Czar's wheels are spinning. Toupee Suicida, the dragon goes flying. Sacramento coming unglued in the early moments of this matchup. The stakes couldn't be any higher and possibly the biggest Cruiserweight Championship match of all time. A story that has been waged for the last six months and change on Friday Night SmackDown. Now take center stage tonight at Battleground. Dragunov bringing the fight to the outside. And with no count outs or no disqualifications tonight, there is nothing stopping the Mad Dragon from instituting a massive beatdown on McDonough. JD McDonough may be seeing flashbacks to New Year's Revolution at the top of the year, inadvertently breaking down the barricade. We got a direct route into the WWE Universe now. And the brawl is on. There ain't nothing the referee or anybody can do to stop it. This fight can go anywhere. It can go to the streets of Sacramento if need be. The referee is only there to count one of these bodies down for the count of 10. In the middle of the golden one center, J.D. McDonough trying to find a way back into this matchup. It has been all dragging off since the opening bell. Ilya Dragunov looked like inadvertently took out the barricade off that senton. Now this fight has gotten taken into the arena. J.D. McDonough looking to make the most of it. Concrete floor below them and weaponry. Where it just may come back to haunt one of these superstars. Oof. Ilya Dragunov sent right to that table. Rib first and wait a minute here. J.D. McDonough looking to institute it. Suplex through the table, down to the concrete floor. 
The count has begun. Dragunov's got to get to his feet or JD McDonough's going to be the new Cruiserweight Champion. Oh man, kind of ate that time. Dragunov going through the table early. Anything goes in this matchup, but look at Dragunov trying to hurry up. Full head of steam. That is one of the scariest sights I've ever seen. Right into a sleeper hold of JD McDonough. Two seconds away, McDonough was from becoming champion. Dragunov trying to play catch up. McDonough breaking the hold. You pass out your opponent. I don't think he's going to be getting up for any count. Dragunov might have been banking on it at that time, but McDonough may be in the driver's seat after Dragunov's body went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the concrete floor and the wood of that table. Anything goes, anything can happen in this last man standing matchup. Now McDonough breaking out a steel chair, which we have seen him use on Ilya Dragunov. Remember back on the first episode of Velocity a few months ago, Dragunov victorious in action, then ambushed after the match with a steel chair by the man in the ring, the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. Dragunov trying to introduce that kendo stick. J.D. McDonough trying to avoid the mad dragon. It will knock him down to size that time. J.D. McDonough getting to his feet. Ilya Dragunov. Probably knew McDonough was going to be getting up that time, but took the moment for R&R. &R. That table in the early going, not going to go well for Dragunov as we get into deep waters in this last man standing matchup. We're only a few minutes in, and already it looks like human demolition derby around the Golden One Center. A broken barricade, a broken table, and weapons galore. Now look at the strength. Ilya Dragunov showing why they call him an invincible superstar. Muscling up J.D. McDonough. McDonough going for an amusement park ride. And Dragunov, all kinds of fired up here in Sacramento. McDonough once again trying to get to his feet. There's the strength this time. On the top rope he goes. Dragunov just trying to wear down J.D. McDonough. These two men are really fast and furious off the opening bell. Starting to come down the size a little bit. Trying to reset and regroup. Going for Saito, J.D. McDonough reverses on his feet. Dragunov set head first right into that chair that J.D. propped up a few minutes ago. J.D. McDonough set the trap and Dragunov fell right into it that time. Referees at a count of six. J.D. McDonough on the verge of gold. Not just yet, Dragunov gets to his feet once more. Double underhook, powerbomb. J.D. McDonough may have momentum on his side tonight. As we mentioned, victories over Johnny Gargano, Wes Lee, Tyler Bate over the last few months, and most recently this week on SmackDown. J.D. McDonough trying to introduce another table this time. Dragunov did not get what he wanted. Big time slingshot cutter by the Irish Ace. Damn near hit the bridges of that table. Hell of a maneuver by J.D. McDonough. We know how dangerous that man can be. Talk about that victory over Wesley. That was almost two months ago on Friday Night SmackDown. A beatdown after the matchup. We haven't seen Wesley since. J.D. McDonough never been afraid to get the blood on his hands. Dragunov has found that out firsthand over the last couple of months. Will McDonough make the most of it here tonight? Launching Dragunov off the top rope again. Once again, the count commences, but J.D. McDonough has still got a blueprint in mind. Double stomp to the lower back, my goodness! McDonough will throw Dragunov's body caution into the wind if it means J.D. leaves as the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Unforgiven, no remorse. No mercy being shown tonight between these two superstars who have a hatred for each other, ready to destroy each other in the means of success. 
Counter by the Czar. Much needed at that. But McDonough meets him with a shot and a headbutt for good measures. And now J.D. McDonough again, wearing down the Mad Dragon. Last time these two men went one-on-one -on -one was back at the Elimination Chamber at the end of January. J.D. McDonough did a number to Ilya Dragunov on that night. Was inches away from becoming the Cruiserweight Champion. Did not come to be. Dragunov being reminded all over again what the game plan of the Irish Devil is all about. And J.D. McDonough looking to institute it better than he ever has tonight. J.D. McDonough knows that championship opportunities don't come around every day. And tonight may be his final opportunity to slay the dragon here at Battleground. I believe Ilya Dragunov has been busted wide open, but he may just be being fueled off the fury. McDonough set over the top rope. Dragunov starting a rally here in Sacramento. We said it before, we'll say it again. Ilya Dragunov, somebody who has always thrived off the pain and punishment. Dragunov lives for these kind of fights. Oh my goodness, oh man! Dragunov faking JD McDonough out with a kendo stick and instead delivered a torpedo Moscow at ringside. Ilya Dragunov is fired up. JD McDonough's lights may be out cold. Not just yet. McDonough able to get to his feet, but how close was that? J.D. McDonough obviously got a couple screws loose right now. He's got to get his wits about him after Dragunov delivered that fake out and then the Torpedo Moscow. Creative offense by the Mad Dragon. J.D. McDonough with a last ditch effort. I believe McDonough, if I'm not mistaken, may have been busted open off the head-to-head -head contact with that Torpedo Moscow. Both these men showing signs of war as we could have expected in this last man standing match. Now Dragunov with a kendo stick, beating down the Irish Devil. And back and forth, the pendulum of momentum starts to swing in this match as both men jock for position and try to beat down the other, become the last man standing and get the hell out of Dodge with the gold. Now McDonough with the weaponry in his hand. Look at it, institute the plunder and right to the open wound. Dragunov avoids another blow. The war has been brought to ringside here in the Golden One Center and it ain't going well for either of these superstars. First Dragunov goes down, then JD goes down. Back and forth we go. McDonough trying to get to his feet once again. And oh, wait a minute. JD McDonough's wheels are turning, clearing off the announce table. I don't know what McDonough's got in mind, but we could probably put two and two together as Ilya Dragunov in chase of the challenger. Now in hands of J.D. McDonough, and I don't think this is going to go well for an already broken, possibly beaten Dragon. On the announce table. Devil inside. Ilya Dragunov may be out for good. J.D. McDonough may have slayed the Dragon here at Battleground. Oh my goodness, Dragunov's getting to his feet. The devil inside, through the announce table, but somehow the Tsar is still standing. The cruiserweight champion of the world is a different breed. They don't call him invincible for nothing. We have seen his back against the wall time and time again, and he rises like a phoenix. But I don't know if he's going to be able to do that tonight. J.D. McDonough is looking to write a different story. Dragunov may have survived, but is certainly not thriving right now. McDonough with another steel chair. And is interrupting the referee's count to institute his own amount of punishment on the Cruiserweight Champion. Oof. Dragunov just stay down. JD McDonough is not going to stop. 
McDonough's obsession with becoming the Cruiserweight Champion has led him to this steel chair to the dome. The open wound of the Czar being met with the cold hard steel chair by the cold hard hands of J.D. McDonough. Ilya Dragunov's career would probably benefit from staying down at this point. Oh, wait a minute, come on now. J.D. McDonough, the damn match was probably going to be over there, but McDonough's obsession with slaying the dragon, setting up another table inside of the ring. Ilya Dragunov trying to create some distance with whatever adrenaline's left. Did J.D. McDonough cost himself that time? Letting his desire to beat down Ilya Dragunov fuel him tonight. Into the ropes goes JD. Dragunov with whatever's left. Trying to dip and dodge. McDonough goes for a ride. Both these men busted wide open. And whatever they got left in the tank. McDonough up against the table. Ilya Dragunov saying it's an eye for an eye. Through the table goes JD. It was JD McDonough who put Dragunov through the table earlier in this matchup. And now the Mad Dragon in the same fashion, dishing it right back to the challenger. Unfortunately, JD McDonough getting to his feet. The debris is all over the squared circle. And a pound of flesh from both of these men has been spread upon the Golden One Center. This has been a war of all wars for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World and we expect nothing less. I don't know how Ilya Dragunov is still going right now, trying anything he can to keep down JD McDonough. But McDonough's obsession with the Cruiserweight Championship fueling him to get to the soles of his boots. McDonough up again. Ilya Dragunov trying to find a way in this matchup. McDonough off the counter, takes out the leg. Oh no, on the shoulders is the champion, a second devil inside. JD McDonough may have put the exclamation point on this match. He's not done just yet. Head butt to the open wound. Saito on the debris. The combination that has laid out JD McDonough, Ilya Dragunov, time and time again. Referees at a count of four. The Mad Dragon looks to be out cold. JD McDonough has slayed the Dragon. Ilya Dragunov pouring himself to his feet at the count of 11, but that's one second too late. JD McDonough wins this race to the finish line finds a way to keep down the czar. Here is your winner and the new WWE Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough's obsession month in and month out in 2024 on Friday Night SmackDown has finally led him to the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. A great reign for Ilya Dragunov at the top of the cruiserweight division. But a man was bound to come around and slay the dragon one day. And that day was tonight. The Irish Devil played his cards right. And in the middle of a last man standing war, JD McDonough stands on the soles of his boots as your new champion of the cruiserweight division.